Stampede at Israeli Religious Festival injures scores, kills 44, and counting is in the video title will be Israel Israel Religious Festival marred by stampede that leaves over 40 dead. And this is a breaking story, so a lot of details that have yet to emerge here. So this is a, a topic report, Israel Religious Festival tr Stampede Tragedy uh, that oh, you can also call Lag Bomer Religious Festival Stampede Leaves 40 Plus Dead. Our top link here that I've selected is from Express US UK. Israel stampede at least 44 killed in horror crush. What happened? And the excerpt from this is Israel has been hailed as a... I don't know why they started off with this. This is totally irrelevant. It really is completely irrelevant. But I'm going to highlight it here just to show that even in a story about, you know, a tragedy unfolding, uh, uh, a corpo state nationalist organ like Daily Mail... Or, or, excuse me, Express UK, feels the need to get in its little agitprop to push its vaccination agenda. Israel has been hailed as a model country in its COVID vaccination program, having fully vaccinated more than 120 people per 1 million population. But now the country has experienced a... That seems kind of low. That seems really low. Is that right? I don't know why you would hail that. But now the country has experienced a tragic incident named a heavy disaster by the country's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. At least 44 people have been killed and dozens, dozens injured after a stampede took place at a religious bonfire festival in Israel, according to rescue officials. Dozens of festival goers were hurt at the Lag Bomer event in northern Mount Meron, where the annual commemorations took place. Tens of thousands of ultra-Orthodox Jews attended the Galilee tomb of the second century sage Rabbi Shimbe Yokai for the annual Lag Bomer, I don't know how you pronounce that, Lag Bomer commem commemoration. More links here. More than 40 people killed in stampede at religious festivals from breakingnews.ie. More than 40 people have been killed in a stampede at a Jewish religious gathering in northern Israel, local authorities said. Uh, Moti uh, Bukchin, spokesman for the Zaka Jewish religious gathering in northern Israel, local authorities said. Modi Bukchin, spokesman for the Zaka Ambulance Service, told Channel 12 TV on Friday that 44 people were killed in the incident. Let's see if they have a little bit more on this. The disaster occurred. I'm going to accept your cookies there. I accepted cookies. I did it. The disaster occurred at Mount Meron at the main celebration of Lag Bomer, a holiday where tens of thousands of people, mostly Orthodox Jews, gathered to honor Rabbi Shimon Bar Yakai, a second century stage and mystic who was buried there. And there you see a picture there of the bodies that they've collected. Zakir Heller, spokesman for Israeli Rescue Service Megan Derdon, added about 150 people were hospitalized in the stampede. Prime Minister Netanyahu called it a great tragedy and said everyone was praying for the victims, as, as do I, and uh, as I'm presuming many of our, our readers, our listeners do as well. The incident happened after midnight on Friday, and the cause of the stampede was not immediately clear. Videos circulating on social media showed large numbers of people packed together in tight spaces. That's probably the same every year. So that in and of itself is probably not the reason. A 24-year-old witness identified only by his first name, DeVeter, told the Army radio station that masses of people were pushed into the same corner and a vortex was created. He said a first row of people fell down and then a second row when he was standing also began to fall down from the pressure of the stampede. I felt I was about to die, he said. I'm, I'm very claustrophobic in general. I remember back in 2004, I think this might have been the last time that I voted for uh, a Republican or a Democrat as president. It was the first time I had voted for a Republican or a Democrat as president in, in, in ever. Uh, so uh, the only time I ever voted for a Republican or Democrat president in 2004, I voted for George Bush. And I went to a rally and I got in there early. And I was at the front of the rally, toward the front of the rally. And I didn't realize until after it was over, the tens of, well, there's like 15,000, 20,000 people there. 
in a small space and I was toward the front and when I realized that I was in the midst of all that mass it was quite claustrophobic and I'm glad I didn't realize it until after the rally was over because I wouldn't have been able to stay there because I, so I can't even imagine what these people were going through once the stampede started it would have been horrifying for me I would not probably have been one of the survivors because I don't think I would have done very well so my heart goes out to all of these folks that had to, to suffer such a horrifying death and all the families that have to deal with these losses. Mag and David Adam tweeted that it was treating 103 people, including 38 in critical condition. Israeli media had earlier reported that a grandstand collapsed, but the rescue service said all the injuries happened in a stampede. The Israeli military said it had dispatched medics and search and rescue teams, along with helicopters, to assist with a mass, mass casualty incident in the area. So still unsure what what caused this and i know this is kind of a breaking story so not sure I, I wouldn't be surprised if you find out that somebody shouted something that triggered some people maybe bomb or something like that and this who knows i don't want to say too much on this but my my heart goes out to all these people hearts prayers all that stuff i'll end it there